Hey there, Nicholas Biddle. I think you are a stuck-up, silver spoon brat, with mommy issues. Listen, here, Andrew Jackson, you are a tyrant, and you are the crazy one overstepping your boundaries. The National Bank is an abomination. It only favors the wealthy, and it puts down the common man, you stuck-up twit. Jackson, you backwards hillbilly, the bank is needed to stabilize the economy, and keep the state banks under control. You would understand this if you were not so busy vetoing bills. I still do not understand why you vetoed the renewing of the bank's charter. Listen you snob, all you do is hand out favors to your friends. How much money did you give Daniel Webster? What, did you think that I didn't notice, your mama's boy? And what about Henry Clay? How did your plan go to get him elected? Oh wait, I won, Clay lost horribly, and here you are snivelling about your precious bank. Your veto proved nothing, you arrogant bastard. All it did was show how simple-minded you are, and that the people in this country are absolutely clueless to what they really need. Well, now that I've been re-elected, I think I will destroy the monster that you call the bank. You can't destroy it, you do not have the power. The Constitution forbids you. Do you know who I am? I am Andrew freaking Jackson, I can do whatever I want, who is going to stop me? Congress. I may not be able to destroy your institution outright, but I can severely weaken it. I am going to remove the government's deposits from the bank, you puny little girly man. Ha! Your treasury will not follow that order. Unlike you, they have a brain, you half-wit. Thought's not a problem. I will fire them, and put my homeboy, Roger Taney, in charge. He is a good old boy, who will follow what I say, when I say it. Do you realize what that will do? You stupid fool. That could destroy the bank. That is the point. Jackson, do you think just because you have scalped Indians and imprisoned judges that you can have your way with the bank? You are mistaken, you country bumpkin. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to take that money and put it in pet banks. What power do you have? You're just in charge of the bank. You are right. I am not the president of the country but I am the most powerful man in the country when it comes to money, you jack wagon You leave me no choice, I will have to call in loans and raise the interest rates because without the government's money, the bank's resources will be stretched too thin. Wow, Twoche, I think you have earned the names are Nicholas. You do realize that this will cause financial ruin for the country. Yes, I know it will hopefully cause a short recession, but I know that the people will cry out, and you will have to listen to your master, the people. Once again, do you know who I am? I mean Chuck Norris makes Andrew Jackson jokes, don't you get it? You out of touch, well to do, mean ahead. As the economic problems in the country worsen, you will have to do something, you will have to give in. The country is going to blame you. And then you will have to recharter the bank. If and when the people come to me, and complain, I will simply say, I am not in charge of the money. Go to Biddle. Then what we you do? Can you handle the heat? I know you are used to having things handed to you, but are you prepared for the world to turn on you? Fine, do that. I don't care. I will contract the credit even more. Then you will give in. Just you wait, you pompous Jack. That is Jackson to you, dipweed. I cannot believe you went even further. You were supposed to be the smart one. Even your own friends will not stick by your side anymore. You rich baboon. No one will be on your side. Oh, do you hear that? That is a merchant's. You're supposed friends. Saying enough is enough, you twit. Fine, you win. I will restore credit and lower the interest rates. Yes, that is right. Say it again. Who is your president? You are the president. I cannot hear you. Speak up, you snarl and snob. You are the president. You beat me. I suck. You rule. Yes, I do rule. I rule the country, and you are now in charge of a bank that no longer exists. You may have won this battle, but trust me without the bank the country will have a fragmented and chronically unstable banking system that will plague the economy for years to come. What are you a banker or a fortune teller? Go drink some tea, you unemployed rich boy. Ha <laughs> ha, that is funny, rich and unemployed, I crack myself up. Well, I win. I think I should have my face on the $20 bill for this. Yes, that would commemorate this victory very well.